gamers, today we are going to Google Translate the enchantments of Minecraft 100 times. And then, of course, we're going to mod the dumb results Google Translate gives us into Jeez. Minecraft. This is going to go terribly wrong. Oh, boy. If you guys do enjoy this video, remember to tap soup down below. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Okay, let's Google Translate power 100 times. Let's do this. Adver advertise. Or maybe a pop-up advertisement. So straight away, I got to work on making four pop-up adverts. One where you could make friends on Minecraft. One where you could buy dynamite and TNT. One for a Herobrine figurine. And one for Pablo the chicken. Okay, so if we check in this chest right now, we'll have a bow and we'll also have advertise. We'll enchant this bow with advertise one. And we want to hit that target over there. Right. If I go to try and hit this target with a bow and just it. <laughs> Pablo the chicken. One dollar. That's a pretty good bargain. Let's smash buy. Pablo. Hello, Pablo. What are you doing here? You're so silly, Pablo. Let's try and hit the target. Oh, another Pablo advert. We got two Pablos. Meet new friends and have fun. Miney TM. New TNT and dynamite for $99. That seems like a little bit of a ripoff. Herobrine figure for $12.99. That's a pretty good bargain. Imagine that in battle. <laughs> Zombies, I've got a bow and I'm not afraid to use it. No, I don't want to buy. Pablo, help me, Pablo. <clears throat> oh, man. Looking at this enchantment now, we should probably be a curse instead. Yep, that's so much better. We're going to Google Translate multi-shot 100 times. Let's do this. Shotgun. Okay, I wonder if we can turn the multi-shot of a crossbow into a shotgun. Okay, gamers, we have our test subject here. His name is Jerry. Say hi to Jerry. Hi, Jerry. <sighs> You're about to feel something. So in this chest, we have a crossbow and the enchantment of shotgun. So now on Jerry. <laughs> Sorry, bud, this is... This is gonna hurt. Okay, we're gonna stand back, and as soon as we right-click to charge our crossbow... <laughs> Jerry! No! Oh, Jerry. Uh, bam! Bam! Shotgun, I'm gonna shoot some beef, beef. Shotgun pellets! Woo! Uh-oh, it's raining shotgun pellets. I have an idea. With all of my new little test subjects, we're gonna play a bit of a game. We're gonna play Can You Survive the Falling Shotgun Pellet? Okay, guys, you ready? You ready to play this game? Let's go. Okay, now we run. Now we run. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that was pretty easy. I'm sorry, small child. This is actually kind of therapeutic. How many villagers can I kill at once? I want to see collateral damage here. Boff! Whoopee! Okay, so that was shotgun level one. But what about shotgun two? Let's test out shotgun two on the floor, but they... <laughs> this might be a tiny bit OP. Let's shoot this innocent villager's house. It went through two of them. Um, what can this shotgun do to the mountain? What? Are you ready, guys? I'm sure you are. I got this. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive. Gonna... Guys, guys, where do you go, guys? <laughs> oh, poor guy. A classic enchantment of Minecraft, Bane of Arthropods. Let's Google Translate Bane of Arthropods 100 times. Dairy product. Let's add cheese. cheese. In this chest here, we have an iron sword and dairy product one. Now, we're gonna need help against these zombies. So, lucky for us, our sword has dairy product one. Oh, they're coming. Right, let's attack them. Zombie. It's a cheese. Go, cheese. Fight for me, cheese. Fight for me, cheese. <laughs> yes, dairy product. So when you, attack a, when you attack a mob, it will spawn in a dairy product, which is that little cheese. And then they'll start shooting cheeses at the mobs and they'll protect you. Thank you, cheeses. Protect me, cheeses. They're still going. Yes, cheeses. The cheese prevails. Oh, <laughs> look at our little cheesy. Hey, cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. I've made the cheese sound like Pokemon. So when they spawn in, they'll say cheesy, cheesy. <laughs> That is so dumb. And you can also take that cheese ball from them. And you can hold these cheese balls very awkwardly and then throw them. Go cheese. These floating cheeses, they'll protect you from mobs. Go cheese. Yeah. Let's go cheese. Who will win in a fight? 10 zombies or 10 cheesies? Let's go. They killed each other. Cheesies, no. There's only three left and they're killing each other still. Not a single zombie killed the cheesies. And yet there's still only one cheesy. Let's move on to our next enchantment. This is so dumb. Up next, we're going to Google Translate sharpness 100 times. Struck upon. So, struck upon one. Struck upon two as well. I'm so sorry, piggy. So, we're going to keep it simple. With struck upon, if you hit the piggy. Oh, it strikes them with lightning. Ow. Blah. Okay, kind of... Okay, how? Right, so that was struck upon one. We've already created this much disaster. Let's try struck upon two with this cow. <laughs> Five lightning bolts onto one cow. Let's try it on the sheep. It's definitely striking upon. And with strike upon two, if you just right click on an entity, you would strike them. 
Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try a different tool this time. We're gonna try Google Translate the pickaxe. So let's Google Translate Fortune 100 times. Love the activity. Okay, I have an idea. Let's place down our anvil and let's get Love the Activity 1 on our diamond pickaxe. Look at this. Whoa. So when you break a block with Love the Activity, you actually gain four extra hearts. But what if we put on Love the Activity 2? Because, you know, I love mining. With Love the Activity 2, we're just gonna mine a diamond because, you know, we don't... <laughs> Spread the love. Just gotta fill up my extra 22 hearts, by the way. We love the activity of mining, right? But what if we love it so much that we get Love the Activity 3? I love mining so much that I have... <laughs> what is that? Like 70? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 160 more hearts? Uh, this might be a little bit of an OP enchantment. Uh, mm, yeah. this is such a dumb enchantment. Let's move on to the next enchantment. Let's try an enchantment on the bow. Let's Google Translate Power 100 times. Let's do this. Chaser. I have an idea. Okay, we're back in and we've got Chaser 1, Chaser 2, and Chaser 3. If we put Chaser 1 on our first bow, right, if we shoot Chaser 1 and there's a player over there and you're gonna chase them, huh? It shoots a pearl. Every time you shoot, it shoots a pearl after them. Chaser 1, the pearl doesn't go very far, doesn't go very fast. So this is Chaser 1. A bow with Chaser 2, on the other hand, will shoot that pearl a lot more accurately. There's a player over there, bam! You're chasing them, bam! You can chase them way more efficiently now. Woo! That is pretty cool. But it doesn't stop there. We got Chaser 3. And with Chaser 3, you shoot that pearl. Whoopeem! You are there. You're on top of them. You are on top of them. Look how fast that pearl goes. Whoopeem! It goes further. It goes further than the arrow. So you could like cut them off. Whoop, bam, bam, bam. They're dead. All right. Let's Google Translate Silk Touch for a majority of the tools 100 times. Heavy smash. That does actually make sense, you know? We've got ourselves... Heavy smash. So, if we break the floor now with our silk touch or heavy smash pickaxe. It's gonna heavily smash the wall like a giant hammer, which is pretty good. The only problem is that the, the durability of the pickaxe will go down a lot quicker, but that's the price you pay for a heavy smashing pickaxe. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, for our next enchantment, we're gonna try and Google Translate knockback 100 times. Let's do this. <laughs> lost. All right, gamers, we now have lost. This is a curse. There is a 70% chance of this happening. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, hello? hello? And not to mention, this also works with the pickaxe if you go for a nice mining trip and... <laughs> but what's this? Hmm, lost two. Lost two on the axe. It now has a 90% chance of sending you straight... <laughs> ah, I'm even more lost now that I'm dying. <laughs> Oh, okay, you, you can literally get sent anywhere in the nether. It's kind of an OP curse. I wouldn't have lost if I was you. Okay, let's Google Translate Fortune again on the pickaxe just to see what other results we could and could have got. Be random? Be random and be random too. But what does be random do, Renny Drag? Well, good thing you asked, buddy. Be random one. And what this will actually do is if you mine a block, it will drop random items. Any random items from any of the game. <laughs> that is very random. Ooh, we got a beacon this time and an armor train. So yeah, this is be random. You can get in the enchanting table. It drops pretty decent loot so far. I mean, look at all this stuff. It's actually pretty decent. With be random too, it actually drops better loot. So, boom! Diamond armor, pills, blaze rods, an end crystal, a, a god apple, full diamond armor. <laughs> Enchanting table. Look at this loot. Oh, yes. I think be random 2 is definitely my favorite enchantment. Let's try efficiency, and I kind of want to try the hoe this time. Aging well. Okay. Here we have aging well 1 in the game, and we have aging well 2. So let's test out these uh, enchantments and see what they do. Okay. So what aging well will actually do is if you have a farm and you right click on a block, you'll take damage. But did you see that? Okay. We're going to do it again. We're going to right click one more time. Bam. Boom! Of a 10 ticks, your farm will grow very quickly. Okay, we can try and see these side by side. So this is Aging Well 1, and this is the kind of effect Aging Well 1 will have, because all of the crops will age very well. It, it can make sense. Now look at the effects for Aging Well 2. Bam! It grows a lot more. Let's Google Translate Mending for any tool 100 times. Trying too high. Okay, for our next enchantment, we got trying too high. And in here, we got a diamond sword and trying too high. Oh, don't mind me, guys. Just in, just in a gecko suit. So when you actually hold the diamond sword with trying too high, you start to take damage. You gotta be quick because you are taking damage. But if you hit the space bar, you can actually fly. You fly slowly because you're taking damage, but you can fly. There's a little bit of a balance, but I am gonna die. Oh, okay. 
Okay, let's grab trying too high too. And then we hold this sword. We become very, very, very slow. I mean, look how slow I'm moving while holding this sword. But there is a plus. You can fly. Your screen becomes zoomed in. You can fly really quickly. But as soon as you hit the floor, you can't move. I'm like a weight. I literally cannot move at all. I'm kind of stuck in a gecko suit on the floor. Yeah. Someone come, please help me. Yeah. And then as soon as you let go, everything returns to normal. Except me, because I'm a gecko. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below what you want me to Google Translate next. Smash soup, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye-bye!